been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you. A lovely way to bring in to this beautiful new segment with Karen Deegan. Welcome to Canterbury Live, Karen. I'm very excited because you'll be joining us each Monday Mm. fortnightly and talking about. A, a, a quite a lot of large selection of topics but basically talking about our life and our happiness. Yes that's exactly right. Happiness is actually a learned skill it's just that most people haven't learned it <clears throat> so I'll be talking a bit about that. So tell us exactly what is a health happiness and success coach? <laughs> basically what I do Andrew is free people from the thoughts, beliefs and emotions that are holding them back in life. I do that in five main areas really. The first one being emotions. So people might come to me who want to be free of anger, resentment, guilt, grief, relationship stuff. Anything right through to the far end of the spectrum where we've got depression, anxiety and panic attacks. So I free people from those emotions they can't get over on their own. The second area I work in is fears and phobias. So people who perhaps don't fly or drive, fear of feathers, I've had all sorts of strange ones. Um, third area I, work, I free people from is addiction. So I'll get people coming to me who want to give up smoking or drinking or um, gambling or and, and I count weight loss in there as well because you know we can't eat or overeat as is kind of a form mm. of addiction. The fourth area I free people from is health. And it's interesting, you know, I'm not medically trained, but the thing is there's one thing that doctors don't do, and that's address the emotional contributors to people's illnesses. There's a lot of doctors and medical institutions saying that um, unresolved emotions are a huge contributor to most illnesses. Some doctors are even saying up to 95%. Mm. But really the area I specialise in, and this is the area that you and I will talk about a lot as we go forward, is removing the barriers to people's success. Whether it's success in career, finances, relationships, whatever it might be, removing that brick wall that seems to be in the way. And that brick wall is nearly always made up of limiting beliefs in the subconscious mind. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And it's each, each of those brick may represent something that's happened in their world, in their life, and very soon, yes, that wall starts to build, doesn't it? Yes. Um, so I see your company's name is Set Free with EFT. Uh, EFT, EFT, actually. EFT, EFT. Yes. So what is EFT? It stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques, but it's actually a form of energy psychology, which is a, a term they give to anything that uses both psychology and energy medicine in the same treatment. And we'll talk about that a bit more. Basically, you know, psychologists and counsellors, they're not always as successful as they could be because they're working just with the mind. Mm. And we're not just a mind. That's why doctors can be less than successful. They're working just with the body. We're not just a body either. When we work with everything together, that's where all the power comes in. And EFT was actually designed by a psychiatrist to bring therapy that would normally take years or months down to hours or minutes. And the reason we can be so effective at changing people's lives is because we're working with the body's energy system as well as with the mind. Yeah, well you must touch so many people of different walks of life. Do you have a story you maybe could share with us about success that has been fav- received from EFT? Mm. Andrew, the favourite one I like to tell is, because it was so powerful, was the first ever rape victim I treated. And she was a lady who'd been raped two years before she came to see me, but gosh when she walked to my door it was just heartbreaking to see the pain on her face. She was obviously reliving that every day. That's the sort of thing you go to counselling for a long time for. Mm. I was only with her for an hour and a half doing EFT and at the end of that time she was able to sit there, run through the memory of what happened in full detail in her mind and feel nothing. She couldn't believe it. She actually said to me, it's like it happened to someone else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that in itself, just one example, is so powerful. As you said, she probably was reliving it each day. Mm. How's how wonderful and rewarding for you? I've got the best job in the world. I get to change people's lives for a job. So tell us, over the next few weeks when you, you're with us on these regular spots, is it you're hoping to give people the tools? I'm going to give them a wee gem each, each time, something mm. that they can do or start to do to work on themselves at home. Yes. Yeah. And that's it. And then from this, so when we contact you, you've got a wonderful website, setfree.co.nz. Yes. So this could be a pool, though, for us to go to to actually look exactly all the services that are available. Absolutely. But I'm guessing it's just picking up the phone. Sing an email yes. and making contact. Yeah, give me a ring and ask, talk to me about how, you, how you'd like help and I'll let you know if I can help you or not, which I'm sure I will be able to. Yeah, really excited. And you're coming back on Monday, which is wonderful. Yes. And this is brilliant that we have Karen here every fortnight. I'm really looking forward to, it, to you taking us on that journey and for some, a new journey. Yes. Possibilities. Great. Thank Stay you. with us after the break. We're in the kitchen, yes, with Mercy. Even have her pennies on. See you soon. <laughs>